So, I mean, tell us, uh, just for people who haven't seen it, um, haven't seen your video and like haven't read perhaps what's going on, there's this Google person, Lambda. researcher. Yeah. Yep. So what is Lambda and what is what what what, what was he basically saying? Um, Google Lambda is a, um, it's what we call a large language model. So it's basically a, a very, very large neural network designed in a certain way. They're all designed in a very similar way. And it has more parameters in it than we've ever seen really in a model, right? Or GPT-3 is also very, very big. And so really what this brings to the table is not so much something new that we've never seen before in AI. It's just, it's this huge, you know, orders of magnitude bigger than the kind of networks I would use to do, you know, complex imaging tasks. And what they've basically done is they've trained this, this model to read a sentence and then predict what the next word will be. And so you could imagine that if you wanted to do this by hand and you had infinite resources, you could just look at every sentence that's ever been written by humans yeah. and work out for any given, let's say, 10 words, what the next word will always be. And if yeah. you did that and you had that list of all the, all the possible inputs, you'd do pretty well at generating sentences because at the end of the day, that's what people say, right? This is, you've got it on record as what they've said in the past. You can just say those things again. And so this model is one of those. This model is one where you put in some sentences. So you might put in a sentence that says, what do you think about quantum physics? Yep. And then what the model will do is predict the next likely word. And it will probably say, well, I'm going to start by saying what I think is, and then generate some plausible text on quantum physics because people have written about quantum physics before, and that data is in the training set. What it hasn't done is learned what quantum physics is or connected to an internet resource that has information on quantum physics and looked it up. So in some sense, it's a bit like the, um, you know, in Star Trek, you've got the computer you can talk to, and they often ask the computer to do things like, you know, put the shields up or whatever. Yeah. Computer, dim lights. It's like that, but it's not connected to any kind of anything on the ship. So it just talks to you and talks back but it never actions anything. It never, it never has, you know, it's just going from the text in the training set. And I think that's something that's perhaps lost a bit in, in when, it, when it's discussed. It's, it's not connected to anything. It doesn't even have a memory, basically. And so it can't reflect on past experience because it has no place to store past experience. It has no record of those events. And so when it produces sentences that look really, really interesting, they're actually just really interesting sounding sentences, you know. And I think so anyway, I mean, if I, if I sort of I've digress slightly, but, you know, in this particular case, what happened was someone from Google, who I think was in the ethics department, I don't think he was actually responsible for developing this AI, basically said, look at this chat I've had with it. Don't you think it's sentient, basically, is what he said. And the answer, I think, from me and pretty much everyone who understands these models was, no, it's, no, it's not. And, what, and I think the thing that bothered me most about it was not particularly one person saying this because he's very entitled to his opinion, right? You know, I think, I think it was that the media took it massively seriously and it was all over everywhere. Is this the next thing? And that, that bugs me somewhat because I don't think it helps with conversation, like you say, right? People start, people who don't know what a, 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 big, a big model, a big language model is, are going to be a bit worried about this. And there's exactly. really no reason at this time to be worried. And I, that bothers me slightly, which is why I do my videos to try and tell people about it. I mean, the problem is you, 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 the movies predict this happening. And then people see this stuff in the news. And it's like, it's the end of the world and hmm. the end of my job. Um, Arnold and the robots are going to take over. Um, so it, it really doesn't happen. It doesn't, it really doesn't help.